What a guan, everyone. <laughs> Switching it up a little bit today. All right, so welcome to the Hourglass. Welcome if you are new. You know what? It's great to have each and every one of you here. So um, last night, I was playing around with my decks. And um, there is a bit of a strong energy of uh, feeling really left out or a lack. Somebody's in a lack mentality, whether it's lack of love lack of support, a lack of money, which may be uh, a big issue right now being um, that things are kind of uncertain in these times because of the pandemic. You guys, if you see smoke, that is my incense. I'm burning a meditation incense today. Yesterday was white rose, but today we're doing meditation incense and it's nothing burning. So uh, don't be alarmed. All right. So I'm going to see what you should be aware of. Uh, if you want, you could take it as what spirit wants you to know the most high, um, what divine energies is happening around you that you should be aware of. All right. So I'm going to be a little bit, uh, slow today because I want to digest the message and I was being guided actually to take it slow today when delivering this message. Um, a lot of us or a few of us, I should say, are still holding on to a lot of resentment. The seasons has changed, you guys. Let nature show you what it is to let go. It's autumn. Autumn is my season. I'm a Libra, September Libra. Big up to all the September Librans out there. Okay, get my cards in order there. Yeah, so the, the trees are going to show you how to let go. And so pay attention. Look at the different colors. All of the oranges, the reds, the yellows. Pay attention, you guys, all right? It's going to be a little cooler. So yeah, definitely feeling like there's a lack. I feel like some of you have been releasing a lot and you're starting to feel like you don't know who you are anymore because you have let go of a lot of things that you have been um, kind of like uh, holding on as your identity. So start fresh. Take out a piece of paper, a blank piece of paper. Start drawing, start writing. Get your mind to think a little deeper here, right? So Let's see, what does your ancestors or your angels, your guides, whomever you resonate with? Whoever you resonate with. I'm going to get into it, all right? Let's see. So, All right, let's see what's going on here. As a collective, what should we be aware of at this time? Okay, so I'm hearing the word uh, starlight, star bright. I don't know where is that from. Could somebody help me out in the comment box? You guys are really good at that. Thank you so much. I know I don't get to comment back or like, but I am watching. I am watching you guys. I do it late at night as well. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so we have the peacekeeper. So I'm going to do just one card. And we have the hunter. So uh, the state of... Uh, the caption reads, track down your fears and desires. So some of you may have this passion. It could be a hobby, this desire, this want. And there's a lot of fears keeping you from that. So with the hunter's energy, hunt down your desires, hunt down your passions. Despite of the doubts, the fears, the inadequacy, because I'm feeling a lot of inadequacy too as well, of not feeling like you could pull something off or... Maybe your self-worth has been a little uh, shiveled or chipped down there. So with the peacekeeper's energy, very beautiful energy, you may be Native American. We have the white buffalo there as well. So that may be some kind of significance to you. But what this card showing up is saying to choose peace, you guys. It says, let go of the need to be right. Nothing is really set in stone, you guys. When you think about it, Nothing is really set in stone. So you cannot be entirely right because things are constantly changing behind the scenes, um, in on the stage, what have you, all right? So it says, choose peace, all right? Choose peace. Happiness. Talks about happiness as well. Over the need to be right, you guys. Rather than trying to prove some type of point, some of you may be in this hunter's energy where you're really trying to prove to someone or even yourselves, uh, that you are right, you were right all along. 
maybe this person or the situation already digests they already uh, let you know that you're right so it's time now to choose peace and your happiness over constantly trying to prove yourself all right save your energy for what is important and that should be your desires your hobbies your goals even your life purpose you guys something that you was born to do it's shrouded is what i'm hearing in fears and in doubts try to move beyond that try to hunt beyond that if you're feeling stress again that lack energy uh feeling kind of edgy due to whatever situation that could be fucking stressing you to fuck out get into that warrior's hunter's energy and rise up all right your point has been proven the truth is it's a cross. It, 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 it got to the person or the situation. It's there. It's apparent. It's obvious. So now it's time to choose your peace and your happiness, all right? Higher perspectives. Get out of that funk, all right? Your peace is really calling you. Calling someone, hey. You know, you may have like very um, penetrating eyes or very focused eyes, I want to say. Or you're dealing with someone. So this could be your energy. It could be the person that you're tethering to or you're connected to. We also have the peace pipe. <laughs> so if you smoke a little ganja or whatever, Mary Jane, whatever, moderation is key. Um, I do have meditation incense that's going. I was guided to even put that on as well. I was like, you know what? Let me try some meditation to calm down. I feel like you have proven your point. You may have shown someone who you really are or how well you are at handling stressful situations, but it's time now to choose your peace. Your peace is calling you. I can't stress that enough. There's some type of magic or angelic energy that's around you as well, that's flowing around you. We have a lot of blues. Time to listen. It's part of the throat chakra. It's not only about speaking, singing, and being silent, but the throat chakra also involves listening. Listen to your peace that's calling you. All right? So I don't know if I could bust down the terror straight away or... I should jump into some chakra cards. Churaka. I'm trying to do it slow, but still trying to go at a, 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 a moderate pace because I do have a dentist appointment with my little man. So, yeah. Some of you may be sexually frustrated or some of you may have slept with someone and you're feeling kind of edgy or you're stressed about the situation. Where is this going to lead? Wow, you guys. Okay. What's the buzzing chakra that's connected to the peacekeeper's energy? You may have like very tan skin. You may be pale now, but being that you may have to stay inside of quarantine, it's like you have to go down that cave of darkness, of fears. And for a lot of you, you're procrastinating. You're just dancing in front of this cave, you know, going back and forth, tither tothering. But deep inside, your peace, you know your peace is calling you to go through this dark tunnel or this dark cave. So time to focus on that peace and that happiness. Boom, desires. So we have two cards implementing desires or passions or things that are fulfilling your life purpose, honey. It's down there. It's very deep. And with that Pisces energy with the full moon, it's time to trust your intuition on these things. But do have a reasonable approach. Make sure you're doing things that's for your safety, all right? Because, you know, I want you to be healthy and alive to come back here to the channel. I don't want to miss none of you, all right? So go with your heart, but take your mind with you, all right? Be smart about it. It's a million, six million ways to do things and more, all right? So somebody needed to hear that. So the buzzing chakra here today is the sacral chakra, it's all about desires, pleasures right now for a lot of you. And I'm telling you, it could be definitely due to sex, but power struggle or authority. There's a need to step into your power and state your desires. Talk about them. Even if it's awkward, that awkwardness is part of the growth. That awkwardness is part of your expansion. All right? Stop living in your boxes, all right? Recycle the fucking box right now. <laughs> Recycle it. Build something out of the box, all right? Put some shit in there. Put some shit that's not doing you well in the box and throw it out. Let's see what else. 
we have pleasure you guys i don't even remember if i cleared the deck but who gives a shit right now right so pleasure sexual desires somebody sexually frustrated you may desire to be with someone right now but you're trying to keep the peace i'm feeling this hangman's energy i don't know if it's a piscean energy with the hangman or sagittarian but it's coming up really strong. Somebody wants to get past the roadblocks and it's their fears. It says track down your fears and your desires because guess what? Your desires, your fulfillment, your life purpose, it's attached to your fears. And when you get over that, guess what? You're going to un unlock the next level, man. So you better get with the fucking program, you guys. The buzzing chakra here is a sacral chakra. So you may need to cleanse that out. You may need to, un you may need to clear it out. I'd block it but if it's blocked in the sacral chakra you may have very low libido or you maybe again have a lot of fear of your own creativity or you have no creativity at this time maybe that's why I mentioned take that blank piece of paper out and start fucking drawing start fucking writing write your fucking heart out even if you cry even if it don't make no damn sense there's a pattern that's gonna happen on that paper all right and you're gonna see it because your piece is calling out to you and that could be your inner child wanting to do things that you always wanted to do as a child but you were shut down or uh life got in the way all right so with the sacral chakra it's time to balance that passion that creativity it's time to be optimistic and open some of you may be too emotional right here or you may have been dealing with an emotional manipulated person or people and it's time to come out of that box. Be emotional. Cry it out. Some of you have really thick skin. I don't know if you are connected to any type of stag or dare. Uh, we have white buffalo. We even have the koi fishes. So good fortune is here for your taking. But you have to claim it, sweethearts. Don't get it twisted. Starlight, star bright. Something. It's. I don't know if it's a lullaby or it's um something from... A childhood jingle i don't know go and big up yourself in the comment box below starlight star bright so it, it's coming to me the more i say it but it's not <laughs> it's crazy but some of you may have like this alligator or crocodile um uh totem as well and that's time to break through you know crocodiles alligators they own the fucking show when they show up man i mean people step to the side people know what time it is dangerous <laughs> But they're just curious. They're just exploring the, the habitat. All right? So, yeah. Get to some water. We have a lot of blue colors going on. That could be signs of celestial energy or higher energy. Hey? Some of you could be really down in the dumps. Hey? Now, we have the numbers 10, 12. That may be a street address. That could be the last four digits in your phone number, your social security. We have Ace of Swords. So some of you are not living in your truth or you're not um, connecting with the clarity, your own truth, your own clarity. Hey, it's time. You have a strong truth that you may need to communicate, but you're trying to keep the peace. Hey, or someone may want to communicate, but they're trying to keep the peace with you. Let's talk about it. Clarity is hey, it's a breakthrough. You guys get your tools together. There's a lot of tools going on here as well. All right. So there's fortune here. There's great fulfillment. But some of you could be, you know, overindulging, whether it's in rich foods or junk foods or alcohol or you know, anything. I said the peace pipe, ganja, right? That Mary Jane. <laughs> Please, get you a drinky poo if that what helps you cool out. You know, get you an alcohol, a uh, bear, a slushy alcohol. Yeah, man. All right, so let's see. Key players, we have the magician energy. So I spoke about someone may have been manipulating you or emotionally manipulated you, and that kind of like chipped down or cut down your um, self-worth head. But guess what? You may be in that magician's energy where you have a lot of tools. You have the sources around you. It's time for you to cycle that in. Call in your power. If somebody, you know, it's really in your mind and how you perceive the situation and your attitude. So if someone may have taken you for granted, uh, taken your love for granted, guess what? You shouldn't be ashamed of how you love and how you give people. That is your gift. That is your gift to keep giving. So if someone took it and they didn't reciprocate it back, maybe they needed it more than you did. Hello? 
I'm not condoning bad behavior or ill treatment. Now that's different. That is teaching me to have fucking boundaries. So if you come in on all of these terror readings, and I'll be seeing some of you, you know, really venting, getting it out. How do you feel after you do it? Is the resentment still there? Is the pain, is the anger still there? Because if you're not letting it go, even though you're venting, you're not, you're being counterproductive here. So if you're venting, venting to let it go, let it go. All right, because something is happening here to you with the magician energy. You, it's time to step into your fucking essence. All right, you are a very powerful co-creator. Hey, you know you could be working with the earth elements, being that we have that Native American energy. Work with the elements. Work with the elements. You know what that is? The four elements. Holler. Yeah, that's a lot of deep roots. So I don't know if you have to really tackle a lot of deep beliefs that are not really doing you any favors at this time. It's time to like really make your own way here. Pleasures, desires is really strong, but it's a fair surrounding that. I feel for some of you, this is a person that wants to be near you, but they may have really fucked up in the past, really did some damage. And this is a fair of them having to prove themselves or having to be looked at as... Um, I feel like a lot of criticism here as well. There's crying going on here, you guys. Your piece is calling out for you. We have this infant in the cradle here. As you can see, we have a grown man or a spirit here that's crying. This talks about babies that are kind of ill. So I don't know if some of you may have an ill uh, infant or a baby. This could even be a grandpare, a grandchild here. You know what? But there's a cry here. There's a calling out here. Somebody needs are not being met and they're calling out. They could be acting very childish, <laughs> you know, but babies can't talk, right? And it's up to the parents to try to sue them the best way they know how, even if they have to go out and get professional help. Maybe some of you need professional help to move forward here, all right? Because someone is still at a crossroad dancing around this cave of darkness, this tunnel of darkness. Some of you could even be dreaming about dark tunnels and your ancestors there with you. And they're trying to show you here, somebody. This is for somebody. Somebody. <laughs> oh, shit. I just heard you used to be somebody I know. What is that song? Oh, my God. Go and big up yourself in the comment box, yo. Now you're just somebody I used to know. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Oh. Anyway. With the two of wands, you guys, stop dancing around this crossroad. It's time to be assertive. You know what your goals are. You know what you're craving. You know what's going to bring you fulfillment. But there's a fear of being wrong here. You may have no energy. You may be very exhausted, kind of losing hope in life. Hello, life is what you make it. Who is that? Big? B-I-G? You better talk to those legends. Legends don't die, you know. They just live through us. But we have to acknowledge those people, all right? So we have the four of wands. This may have to do with your twin flame journey. May have to do with your twin flames energy being very close, calling out for you, for nurture. This person may be very... Uh, resistant to speaking to you about what they need because they themselves may feel like they don't deserve your attention or your time of day but someone's twin flame is calling out to them and it could very much be in the spirit realm as well because we have this ghostly um this spirit head crying out as well i think this is the spirit of babies that are um ill or um sick head all right so uh that's for somebody this is a totally different deck this is more about African uh, folklore and spirituality here. So with the four of wands, you guys, this may be a homecoming. You may be entering uh, a phase in your life when you do decide to walk, to go after what you know is fulfilling. You may be entering a phase in life where you're going to be celebrating this new foundation within. All right? You, you have to change your energy here. I feel like a lot of you may feel like you're homeless. Some of you may need to talk to your uh, family. And you're having really uh, uh, bad dreams about that. Someone in your family that you really need um, to work with. Because the two of ones could talk about collaboration. Or there's a good collaboration just beyond in that dark cave. But again, you have to slay those fears. 
some of you this person could have run away and went to something else another situation another person and the grass was not greener this person could feel very manipulative or really seeing that they were there are a manipulative person this is the only way that they know how to get what they want but somebody's planning for the future here and it could be a future house this could be a future career for some of you that's going to require your dedication and your commitment because when you're a hunter you guys you have to put all your fucking survival skills on the map all right you have to be attentive you have to be alert hey so success this is talking about success as well the four ones you guys there's a new home or there's a new foundation that's ready to be built recycling i'm seeing a lot as well so commitment uh comfort this could also be safe and secured foundation or home all right, but somebody needs to make a choice, hey, and stick with it. Let's talk about this magician energy. Magician energy could talk about Aries, Virgo, Gemini. Doesn't have to be. We have a lot of fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and now we have Leo with the strength. There's a strong, somebody has strong power, hey. You can manipulate things to go in your way, but there's a fear of what? Somebody criticizing you as being a user. Is that what it is? Somebody needs to master their power here. There's a lot of resistance. So there was manipulation and there was resistance. And again, if you dealt with someone that manipulated you and was resisting this connection, possibly your twin lover, they were teaching you. They were trying to redirect you back to your own fans. See, that's the runner chaser dynamic. That person runs and you chase because it feels like that's what you need to do, but you really need to run after yourself. And then when you do figure that out and your runner twin lover figures that you pull away, then they come back and then the dynamic of the twin flame connection changes drastically because then the runner realizes that it's no threat hey. They're running from themselves because you are them, them, they are you. So it does not have to deal with a twin flame per se. It's just something that I'm seeing here. Now with the strength card, someone has strong power here. Mind, body, and soul needs to be in alignment and agreement here to gain some type of control over potential and free will. Free will is very big here. And that's what a lot of you need to realize. That even though you love someone, they still have their own free will. You get what I'm saying, babies? I love y'all. And I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing here because I was guided from last night to bring it really heavy here, but slowly. Talk really slow and diplomatic because I'm a Libra. Duh. So you may have been dealing with a Leo that's very passionate. This could have been someone that wasn't too sure what they wanted to do. Uh, they may have been looking for someone to really take care of them. Someone, and this could be your energy. You could be this queen of pentacles, hottie hair, that really likes that, that pesos. You know, you really feel secure and safe when your home is in order, when your money is straight. But that's just an extension of your energy. What about you? What about you? With the Queen of Pentacles, this could also be looked at as a gold digger in the shadow side. But what I'm seeing right now, there's a refreshed feeling. Someone may also be thinking that you're too busy with money and their needs are not being met. They feel like a baby that's not being heard, neglected. Hey? And it could be from a Leo. You may be someone that's fairly independent, but you work really good when you want to collaborate because it's collaboration. This fire sign may want to collaborate with you. They may want to build this energy with you. For some of you, you're dealing with someone that needs um, your guidance to for their own mastership. Hey, tell me more about this four of wands energy, please. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants you to give more to them, and it doesn't necessarily have to mean money. It just means physical um, or something that's tangible. We have Aquarian energy as well. Hmm. And we have justice. Yes, karmic justice is here. Something has been released. I don't know if karma uh, is being cleared between the both of you or in your twin flame dynamic. I'm not solely um I'm not solely a reader for twin flame uh situations, but this is coming out really strong. And you know, as a twin flamer, I am a divine feminine. I am my divine feminine's protectors as well. 
So I have a mission to deliver things uh, very clear and simple and just, all right? This is Libra as well here showing up, you guys. So we have Libra, Aquarian energy. We have Leo, we have Aries, we have Gemini, and we have Virgo. This is just a strong energies. You could also look at it as picking different characteristics from each zodiac sign and trying to implement it with you. You may also have these placements in your chart. It's whatever, hun. There's a need to heal a situation here. Somebody's being very open and receptive. There's a little bit of losing faith. Somebody may have spoken their truth and no action has been taken and they may have been, they may feel like they're losing hope or faith here. But let me tell you something, baby. Stars shine, star bright, right? That's what I said earlier. I can't even fucking remember now. But we see the stars here and the stars are recording. <laughs> Somebody has star ancestry here as well. Mm. And I'm seeing a lot of sexual energy with the, queen of pentacles so somebody could very be uh attracted to your exotic nature some of you have like really penetrating eyes it's like really focused and it's sometimes very intimidating because it's like it's seen through someone hey your eyes like see through the smoke screen or the bullshit you have this ability to read energies of flowing energy and also restrictive energy somebody has been enduring this uh this desire this wanting this cravings for a very long time somebody may be even craving your help hey they want to collaborate with you really bad they may be praying they may be going out stargazing and praying for someone like you you may be the star of this person's show or you have really starry eyes some of you could have like really watery big eyes and that is very attractive because you come off as very innocent you have like very innocent uh welcoming eyes and your person may have like these deep dark penetrating eyes and i read somewhere i saw a poem that said the darker the eyes the more beautiful the heart is so i have really um I have really slantish almond eyes that's really tiny some people think i'm asian but i'm really not so people tend to say that my eyes are dangerous <laughs> so i don't know people say i cast spells with my eyes they just that's their perception all right so yeah i feel like you may be fairly abundant because you get things done with the queen of pentacles energy someone may even be wanting your protection is what I pick up. You may have a, like this very caring nature. You tend to things very diligently or you, you're the person that follows up. And this person wants to collaborate, but they may be in a point of their life where they're at a crossroad. You may be going through the most similar thing because if this is a twin flame channeling, I feel like the both of you are at a crossroads in you guys' life and you really need to call in your power because the both of you may be craving each other craving the sensuality the beauty of this connection but they're still healing and your person may know that they may be doing some type of karmic uh clearing or there's patterns being cleared yesterday i had a channeling talking about um somebody's paying their debt to society or to, to karma all right so with the queen of pentacles you're gonna get what your heart desires this may be some type of capricorn energy where you're all about your coins but it's for safety it's for security it's for family with the four of wands some of you may be thinking about buying some fucking property you may have that opportunity all right but it's something here that needs to be endured and i feel like that's that um you have to endure the uh adversity hey like you have the free will mind you all right and after the storm after the rain things are going to be grown here things are going to start to develop so if you and your twin flame have been going on going through some rough shit even a soulmate it's it was happening to create or develop you guys's character for um not the end game but to collaborate with each other because some of you when you when you get into harmony with your twin flame lover you have some more work to do you guys have to still raise the energy of the new earth which is coming from a love-based energy the more feminine the divine feminine's energy because for a long time we've been in this wounded masculine energy for years 
all right running after society norms um time taking control of our lives and this fast-paced amazon type of energy so all of that is going to be reset or it's resetting for the next six months is what i'm seeing four to six months here very interesting energy and you see the thing is we have eight with the star we have eight with the star eight with strength double eights going on here very interesting energy ah uh, what is justice justice reduced down would be what mm, justice is a number two and we have two so this is the master builders yeah i know a lot of you may have known that but you're in this master builders energy where you have to destroy to rebuild wise men destroy and rebuild hey all right and that is all about creation as well breaking things down even though it looks pretty it looks pretty good how it is you should have the courage or the faith or the confidence to break stuff down and build something different or even better all right and i feel like that's some type of energy here but somebody's still resistant it's like they're still not in this mastership energy you know your person could have been a master manipulator because they didn't know how to channel their power they were they were taking learned behaviors and producing or creating a world out of muck so with the peacekeepers energy your point has been across. It's time to now pursue your peace. This person is following you as well. They're trying to resist coming out to you. They're probably trying to resist trying to propose a collaboration because they know that they have manipulated you, possibly jumped the fence to the other side. It wasn't what they thought it was, and now they want to come back. That's something that you guys need to talk about. It's almost like you need to ask this person to speak up, but they may have a fear that if they tell you the truth, that whatever you're feeling for them may evaporate it may just poof you know and gone vini vini vici type of shit and poof, it's gone so there's a lot of things that it's not what it seems i'm seeing that with the clouds as well you know so something may seem very dark and gloomy but it's really not but you have to face that fear all right uh-huh Holler if you hear me, you guys. Holler if you get this message. Go and big up yourself. You get, and it's about your purpose and passion here with the solar, uh, with the sacral chakra. Somebody could have misused their sexual energy, or they're thinking that sex would be a way to get you in or get to you. But you're very grounded, and this person may be someone that has tantra tantrums, or they freak out really easy, or when they get scared or afraid, they panic. You know, that may be somebody that you're dealing with and you really need to nurture the situation. You may have all your shit together, all right? And they're just waiting for your cooperation or you're waiting for the... It's like both of you may be waiting for cooperation because there, uh, there's a fear of change. There's limited options as well and there's indecision with that two of uh, wands. My one candle just had a big blaze there. Oh, so we have the fish. Mm, this is about deep desires as well more fish energy so some of you may like a lot of seafood pot fish and stuff like that like red snapper and things like that but there's abundance here you guys and you have to reach out and get it you have to claim it or this person has to claim it there's fire burning here all right some of you may be going outside and doing your grill shit with some fish that's some awesome sauce make sure the gravy is awesome sauce too put some sweet pepper and provisions in that thing mm -mm -mm. some butter mm. some coconut milk in there too she <laughs> so yeah i feel like you're gonna get what you want or this person got what they want but they were not happy <laughs> you know they could have jumped fence and decided to deal with something that was more convenient and less triggering but when they did that they did get exactly what the fuck they wanted but they were not happy all right, they were not happy in this home or in this environment, and this is what is causing them to lose hope in themselves. So someone could have uh, pursued a craving, a passion, and when they got what they wanted, they did not like it, and they may be resisting or putting up this resistance to go after you or this next big adventure. All right, that could be in Korea as well, too, you guys. So take it how it resonates. All right.
we have no pages we have one two three major arcanas so this could be very present energy i only do present energy you guys so let's get one oracle from this deck and see if we could close it out here uh i don't know what the hell i'm gonna label this um thing here i might have to go back and listen to myself so i could get the <laughs> title of this thing but i'm possibly gonna name it what should you be aware of all right let's see there's very refreshing energy here for some of you you're gonna be remedy back to health all right start eating fruits and vegetables that are the same color of the sacral chakra that's gonna help cleanse it or clear it as well unblock it one card please Ooh, somebody's playing music we have a musical Mm, and we have the barrel and we have la luna some of you <laughs> i just heard that song um in spanish um i won't be afraid no i won't shed a tear as long as long as you stand by me so stand by me in spanish you guys check that song out i can't remember the guy's name but um comment in the comment box if you know and listen people get upset when people singing and mentioning songs that's just another expression of the channeling that's happening here. So if you are a person that doesn't like that, well, that's on you, honey. But as a reader, I know that we get messages just like a radio station, okay? It comes and goes. So somebody's playing music here. But be careful you're not dancing to a tune that's not real. Somebody may be trying to seduce you through sex or they're trying to appeal to... Oh, 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 so I got somebody's trying to indulge in your beauty. This is a lot of indulgence with alcohol as well. So be careful you're not indulging in, in so much alcohol beverages like slushies. I know a lot. I like to drink a lot of drinky poos, but I be so edgy at times and I get a lot of channeling daily, you guys, that I need something to take the fucking edge off. So I'm definitely tuning into this reading. So be careful you're not indulging in too much uh of anything that could be impairing your judgment because somebody is doing that and it could be fairs as well you're indulging in too many of your fears you're letting those fears that guilt whatever it is that caused you to shut down you need to let it go go play some music and dance move your body move your sacral your sacral wheel move it so the energy could flow move it work it out you know i'm from the islands we do a lot of fucking working up we don't twerk we work the fuck up we walk up we walk that body <laughs> Go on, big up to all my Caribbean people that are watching. So we have the little Luna. We also have some numbers here. We have 32, 23. That may be an angel code. You may want to look that up. Or that could be your ages from 23 to, to 33. Hey, Something may, may have been going on for nine years or uh, nine days, nine months, nine weeks. Some of you may have the light path of nines, eights, and twos. So with the, oh, I forgot to mention with the double eight, again, psychic energy. Somebody's worrying about finances, that's about to uh, come into as well because we have the koi fishes. We did have that fish. So abundance is there. The money is coming, but you have to go after it. You have to, it's like the minute you take out the blockages, everything is just going to be coming to you. You're going to be attracting it with that magician energy. But be careful you don't uh, kind of like misuse your power here. So some of you could be, again, with this music, channeling different energies from your twin lover or even from those from the, on the other side. Your guys could be trying to talk to you. Some of you are thinking it's your uh, just your twin lover that's doing it when it's not actually. It's actually um, your guides, your ancestors really trying to reach out to you through music. So play attention. This could also talk about deception being that we have it next to the barrel. Be careful somebody's not... Um, saying something that they're not going to do somebody may be acting a certain way here and again it's not what it seems it's not what it seems with uh el musical so be careful someone somebody's not playing a tune or you're dancing by other people's tune and you're building an illusion here all right because we have the moon as well the moon could talk about again intuition it could also talk about romantic feelings we have a lot of nighttime here as well so maybe at nighttime somebody's be you know, somebody's thinking very deeply about collaborating, connecting, uh, working with you, working uh, on this uh, connection here with you because it's part of their goals. It brings a lot of passion that helps them go out and, you know, get their goals in order. What else am I seeing here? 
It could also be that somebody's stubbornness may cause them to change their mind, being that we have indecision here. So be careful not to rush the brush. Again, you made your point across as a peacekeeper. It's time for you to pr pursue your peace and happiness. For some of you, your happiness is calling you in another direction, and that's scaring the fuck out of you. It's probably causing you to feel hopeless about reconnecting with this person. But this is justice, hey. All right? So you don't need to know the every detail you don't need to be watching terror readings after terror readings after terror readings you don't need to be looking and hunting for the signs and synchronicities things are happening behind the scenes and you don't need to know all the detail but again you have that free will hey you have that free will hey now with the la luna card i just keep hearing when night comes When night comes. Uh, I don't know if that's some Kevin Gates shit because I've been listening to a lot of Kevin Gates lately. And in that one song, um, Are You Looking for Someone to Love? Are you looking for someone to love you now? Are you looking for someone to love? <laughs> so with the Luluna card, um, you guys may have a lot of love for this person or it's a lot of romance. You know, it's a very strong emotional bond here or connection. But it's like, it may be clouding your judgment head. Because I felt like something was impairing your judgment. And I was thinking about, you know, could be alcohol or you're just indulging. But you could be indulging too much in your love and feelings for this person. And it may cause you to get your hopes up too high. Something is not what it seems, hey, you guys. So maybe this person is trying to put on a front like they're really strong and they have all this power, but that may not be entirely true. They may be just this little whiny baby that fusses a lot because they can't uh, express their emotions. So they may be emotionally constipated is what I just heard. I don't know. <laughs> so be careful you're not letting your loving feelings cloud you, uh, cloud your judgment of what's true presently in this thing with this person this could also be you with the love of money the love of financial stability and security be careful you're not misusing your energy here and you're overindulging because that's going to create karma all right the truth is out here it's very obvious but somebody wants to know each and every detail to move to go through the tunnel and you're just going to have to hold your breath and run through that shit <laughs> but it's a lot of nighttime energy. Somebody could be coming alive at the nighttime as well, drinking at nighttime, uh, kind of socializing a little bit too much as well. So be careful that these strong, intense, loving emotions or romantic emotion is not, uh, it's not influencing something that's not what it seems. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm hearing, don't let your love blind you to this person's need to heal and do their own work. All right? Follow your own happiness and your own peace. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, of course, go and big up yourself in the comment box below. We also have 5-5 five five as well, you guys. So definitely some changes is happening here. Somebody may be fearful of this change with the two of wands. And this is why they may be like resisting it, all right? But they, they feel like they're being... It's like I, I, I'm getting the energy of I don't know how long I could hold this back type of energy. This person may want to come in very level-headed and be very honest and transparent, but it's a fair about that too. All right? It may not be... They feel like it's all in their head if they do come forward and it may be... it, Whatever they're feeling or whatever they're thinking or sensing, it may shatter. All right? So yeah, I'll see you guys in another channel message. Thank you guys for the general spiritual, the tips to the free readings here on the hourglass. You guys, I love it. I love you. Keep raising your vibration. Some days you lag back, some days you don't, but it's all part of the dance of life. Chat to you guys later.